Yeah. Gabriel goes, brings back Michael. Come, come, both of you. You stand aside. The Bible told you that Gabriel waited with the king's operation. That means while this was happening, both the king's operation and Gabriel could not intervene. And what happened here was not can 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 give to ah to ah in the bed. We can Because the moment they said to you there was war in heaven, you're hearing bling, 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 bling. take up the whole armor. Fat, I wear my helmet now. <laughs> Baba, I take up my shield of faith. If you don't have faith during prayer, you won't get it. So that helmet, you have been living with it. Do you understand? The earth is a battleground. So we move around the earth, battle ready. We don't wear our armor because we are in a prayer meeting about to confront an enemy. We live in the midst of our enemies. So you find out that all the elements in your armor are not... Take up... <laughs> this one is very... Dun, 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 dun. You are not a Christian. I've been suspecting you. Suspect all your bad people. This guy, maybe still following Shango. It's a joke. Shango is not around here. Are you following me? Once we arrive in that, the moment they say spiritual warfare, that's what we suffer though, all our life. Then when we pray and we charge, we now start feeling like, yes, I've won my breastplate now. If you did not have it before prayer, you cannot pick it in prayer. <laughs> These are things you live with daily. Let me tell you what happens when you are battle ready. When you are battle ready, every speaking about the enemy, you despise. I wish you had me. The person who understands spiritual authority is not conscious of Satan. He despises his works. Because the prince of this world comes. My helmet is in place. My shield is in place. My breastplate intact. My belt is in place. My suit in place. And my sword. Tell him to come. I'm coming. I'm waiting for him here. So they say, This is warfare. Ah! You don't know warfare. So spiritual warfare is not can can too. Oh, you will hear scripture saying in Isaiah chapter 41, bring forth your strong reasons. That's warfare. So when you stand in warfare, the exchange between Satan and Michael is always the legalities on ground. So it took Michael three weeks to take the prince of Pesha on excursion. I said to him, see when they were coming into Babylon. See what they swore to God. So all the while you thought that Daniel was under your jurisdiction. When he prayed that prayer at the rivers of Babylon, he stopped being under your jurisdiction. You just were not aware that day. When he came in, look at the table of the king. These were the things that were sacrificed to you. Daniel did not put his hand into it. And because he did not put his hand into it, he did not draw back onto perdition. So at this point, look at it. You don't have legality over Daniel. When we open this door for him to enter into the circle of wise people, when they rose up against him, he did not respond with evil. He survived in their midst. So you don't have a point against him. Even on this day when he was weak, and it looked like he was going to fall. See Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Look at when they upheld him in prayer. And how he came out of this circumstance so daniel is not under your territory so what gabriel what michael did was to prove to the prince of babylon that though daniel was living in babylon he was not under the command of this prince and so there is now a legality for the god under whose command 
Daniel has always lived. To go down and interact with his Daniel concerning the land that Daniel has now taken concerning him. Because if Daniel bought a piece of property in Babylon, it belonged to Jehovah. If Daniel entered an office in Babylon, it belonged to Jehovah. So you see, the legality of clean hands and a pure heart is not just something I do to collect favor from God. It's something I do to spare the air around my head from princes. Because Ephesians chapter 2 tells you that this is how the spirits that are operational in the children of disobedience work. What do you call them? The children of... That means every act of disobedience gives right to a spirit or a prince. That's why out of every act of disobedience, you must bring forth repentance. Yes, yes, yes. So repentance does not only put you in the good books of God. It takes away from you the consequences of your action. It's also the reason why you must engage the mercy of God daily. Because there are legalities that are happening around you that you know nothing about. So when scripture says in the day of ignorance, God overlooks, what it means is that he can stay up his office as a righteous judge and speak beyond your ignorance. So I'll give you one other example. So Michael comes again, this time, to war with Satan for the body of Moses. Listen, you will find out that there are certain people who the attachment to their life is not a prince, it's the devil himself. There are people that are released within a generation that Satan gives himself the, the work of personal supervision. He cannot trust the wisdom of a demon to supervise this one. So when Jesus stood, he did not say the prince of Israel comment. He said the prince of this world comment. Because the contention he was in was not a contention for Israel. It was a contention for the souls of all men and the right to rule the whole universe. Listen, Jesus is not, is not struggling to win the right to be king. He has won the right to be king. He's waiting for you to win the right to be one of his kings. That's the reason why he's not yet king on the earth. No matter how bad it becomes, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness there. Yeah. No matter who enters into office in any nation, the earth is still the Lord's and the fullness. Jesus has 